In today's video, we are going to be looking at how to recreate some festive royal style this Christmas season. I do have to admit that most of the outfit inspo is of Princess Catherine. Can't really help myself, she is my fave. But I have tried to include some of our other favorite royals in the mix as well. As we know, every year the royal family spend their Christmas at the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk. This is something that the Queen did every year and King Charles is continuing the tradition. So to get into the Sandringham Christmas vibes here, I will be sipping from my Sandringham mug that I bought in the gift shop when I visited Sandringham last year. <laughs> this mug is actually very special because, let's see if we can focus on that. It is actually a Platinum Jubilee mug, a commemorative piece of crockery for the late queen. So let's get these Sandringham vibes going. Every year on Christmas morning at Sandringham, the family attend a church service and the walk from the house to the church has become a bit of a thing. There are always many fans and well wishes there to grab a glimpse of the royals as well as press and photographers to capture the royal family and capture what they're wearing, of course. The first thing that you will need to recreate some royal Christmas style is a beautiful coat preferably a wool coat and preferably calf length. Kate has worn some stunning coats throughout the years, not just on Christmas, but her Christmas fashion is especially wintry. And in these rich colors like burgundies, reds, emeralds, I really like this hunter green moment that she did one year. I've noticed that she does like a double breasted coat and she also likes to pick a coat with a fur trim, whether that's a fur collar, fur cuffs. One year she wore this quite fun, bright tartan coat with the fur collar. And this coat really reminded me of something that Princess Diana might like to wear. Diana did love to wear bright colors and she loved a bright patterned coat, especially on Christmas day. I did look up Meghan Markle's Sandringham outfits. There's not that much inspo to draw from because she actually didn't really attend that many Christmases at Sandringham. But we do know that Meghan loves a minimalist monochromatic outfit. Now I do love a bit of tartan, especially around Christmas time. Tartan is so sort of traditional, it's very classic, but it still has a specialness about it and definitely has personality. I always get this feeling when I'm wearing tartan, especially a black watch tartan. I don't know, I just feel very put together and very stylish when I'm wearing it. Kate loves a black watch tartan in particular. She's worn a few variations of a black watch tartan coat. I have this beautiful tartan coat from a brand that Kate actually loves. It's called Catherine Hooker. And guess what? It has a detachable capelet. I know. This is just me as a coat, like the black watch, the capelet. Ugh. With your coat, you're either going to want to wear a pair of suede boots or a pair of heels, but with tights. No bare legs around here, that's not very royal. So you can do a pair of tights that match your skin tone. That's always a nice way to go. And then if I were doing that, I'd do a statement shoe. Maybe a shoe that matches the hue of your coat or a black tight with a black pair of heels, always a classic way to go. You're also going to need a pair of gloves to match your coat because it's going to be very chilly on a Christmas morning at Sandringham. Your girl gets chill blains, okay? So we need some gloves. I have this pair, these are my staple gloves, these navy gloves, and I think they look really nice with the navy in the coat. Now to pull the whole outfit together, and this is what I think will really make it a royal outfit, a milliner designed hat. Preferably tying into your coat, the same hue as your coat would just look bomb. Kate does this a lot. Now wearing a felt milliner hat, probably a little bit over the top for us regular folk, us, us peasant folk, you know, non-royals, we'll just put it that way. But if you are looking for some hat inspiration or even where to buy a hat, I definitely recommend checking out the Instagram page, The Ladies Made. This account is run by a woman named Alicia Healy, and she was literally a royal lady's maid, like in the palace. 
She shares a lot of royal inspired fashion on her Instagram page and she's very good with tagging in her collages where she's got the pieces from, like what brands they're from. So definitely check out her page if you're looking for some hat inspo and also coat inspo. Now I will admit that I don't own any decorative piece of millinery. I don't really have the occasion to wear one, maybe one day. I would love to, you know I would be all over it. And so instead of a hat to give my outfit that little bit of festive touch, I did put a little red bow in my hair. Red is one of Catherine's favorite colors to wear during the Christmas season. It's kind of her signature holiday color. And I do like that she doesn't shy away from the red and green Christmas combo. I don't know if you saw, but she recently wore this red ensemble. This technically wasn't a Christmas event. She wore it to welcome the South Korean president on a state visit to London, but oh my gosh, the hat, the cape, Honestly, people just need to wear a cape and it will impress me. What about a cape is not impressive. So Kate does wear a lot of red coats, red cardigans, red dresses, like this sparkly red dress, so Christmassy. Or I really like this red Alessandra Rich dress that she wore in the Mary Berry Christmas special a few years ago. The great thing about red is that I think it really does look good on everyone. I mean, it's a primary color, so you can't really go that wrong with it. Just make sure that you know your undertone to choose the right red garment for you. If you're cool toned, then go for a more purpley red, a more blue hued red. This is the red that works on me. But if you have a warmer skin tone, then lean towards a more orangey red and that's just gonna look really nice on your skin. On the red theme, Kate's red Mew Mew cardigan makes for the perfect casual Christmas outfit for caroling or decorating the tree or a little more casual Christmas party. And if red really isn't your thing, then any sort of fair aisle cardigan or knitwear will immediately look really cozy and Christmassy. I bought this cardigan earlier in the year from a brand called Brora. That's really hard for me to say, Brora. And like Kate, I did wear a collar underneath, but I'm sneaky because it's actually a faux collar. I have a few of these faux collars that I like to wear with different knitwear pieces. Like I have this more pointy one, I have this more pie crust collar, but this one has been my favorite as of late. Just like a nice little ruffle. I bought this one off Etsy, but they have them on lots of sites like Yes Style, probably Amazon, that sort of thing. These faux collars, they are such a game changer. No more uncomfortable bunching under your knitwear, no more overheating. And on a really chill will day, I will wear one of those Uniqlo thermal tops as the base layer, then this, then the knitwear. It's actually gotten to the point where I don't wear knitwear without a collar because first of all, it just immediately levels up the outfit, but also it kind of stops the knitwear like rubbing on your neck and getting itchy. Love them. And there are some ways to dress like a royal this Christmas season. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any Christmas events that you're planning to dress up for. I'm actually going to the ballet with my granny. We're seeing Swan Lake, which is very exciting, but what am I going to wear? Definitely something ballet core. So we're gonna have, have to do like a ballet core slash Christmas crossover for Swan Lake. Thank you so much for watching today. If you did enjoy the video, please remember to give it a like. It just boosts the video a little bit so other people can find it. And then also feel free to subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.